need a fat man. Cause I weigh three hundred pounds. I was daydreaming inside the levee of the Mississippi River. Around Christmas time, 56, when the president of the American Legion pulls up. He quickly stabled a post into a telegraph post at the head of the old Bashery Road. I got my ass off the grass and checked it out. Come on, this lady. Come on to a grand dance at the St. Joseph Hall. Flash in Louisiana. Bam! And right underneath that was a picture of Fat Diamond who at his baby grand piano. I could have caught my head and got kicked it to hell. Folks said Fat Diamond who was from Bat. Well, folks said it wasn't good enough for me. I wanted to hear it on his microphone. We could have put Bat on the map. But Fat Diamond who didn't come. And he got bigger than Blue Orleans, that city he called home. The Legion broke him again. They will sue his fat ass if you don't come this time. Says a fellow feel worth about breaking corn ears. And mine too, because Max Diamond was still in the show. He's coming this time. Shit two, three times a year. Cause we walk almost a mile along the crooked Black River Road. Folks moved up at the head of the land like they was expecting a parade. That's a Miss Vianna, y'all! I don't know why they even bother to unload it. As many trips as it made to Bastry, the wind and the box probably had it out of tune anyway. And where is Fast Time? to the dance and dice in Las Vegas tonight. I heard he got broke. Yeah, shy, he coming for sure this year, cause he needs the money. And his old grandma in the hall tonight too. Old lady most a hundred years old, and they ain't seen him since he was a fat baby. He'll be all right. That domino ain't that low down, y'all. Then it buses the Fats Domino Review. Country folks pushing and stepping on people's feet with shine bro games. Everybody want to see the fat man. You could have can, big man. But that's okay. You see, one day, I ain't going to need you to tell people where Bash is at. I'm going to do it my They'll call, they'll call, they'll call me the back man. Cause I know I'll be raising
And I always got this man called Chain to lift my spirit when I'm down. Mm -hmm. Chain and cut many ditches on the plantation in his lifetime. Years of hard work got him angry with work. He'd be walking around the back and singing his little made up song. Lord, if I got any kind of work around my heart, please take it away. Shay told me about them two boys from Bashley who went to a shipyard in New Orleans to look for a job. Shay said the foreman told him they wasn't hiring. But after he found out they was from Bashley, he told him to come back the next day. He was going to lay two guys off and hire them. Shay <laughs> said, everybody in Louisiana know that one man from Bashley can outwork two mules from Missouri. <laughs> Folks in Bashman, Louisiana, got a saying for everything. They even say people born in March crazy. Yeah. Well, in 58, my birthday came on the last day of March, just like it did every year. Except I would be 18. I would be a man today. I step outside and brush my teeth with bacon soda and a glass of water on the front porch of our two room in the kitchen house. Then I slick back my hair with yellow Vaseline and I head into the commissary store to sign up for my registration draft. I was still amused about the old folks saying about people born in March being crazy. Then I saw Ting coming toward me on the river road. They said Ting was crazy too. They didn't even lock him up in the crazy house in Jackson, Mississippi for some time. Well, I must have been kind of foo foo too. Because I like talking to Ting. I always thought Ting was prettier than March well. Me and Ting sat down by the running ditch and commenced to talking about being crazy. I was itching to know how Chang was free from the crazy house. His little bitty eyes rolled back in the deep socket of his slim brown face as he started to recollect his reason for sanity. Then he told me about how they used to get up in the morning in the crazy house and how they all would be in this one big room. Oh, what's he say? Spreading his long arms like he was counting hundreds. Old people, young people, colored people, gray old people, white people. But spirit, why did you even say So you think I'm crazy? Yeah, white people go crazy too. Then yeah. he said one by one they went to the bathroom, and when they came out, they all dried their face on one king size sheet hanging outside the bathroom door. So he said when it was his turn to dry his face, he got a chair, and he stood on the chair, and he dried his face on the clean part of the sheet. And when the white doctor saw that, they sent him on to his wife and son. Before <laughs> so I left the running ditch, I asked Chang if he was born in March. He said, no, but sometimes his birthday comes when February borrows a day from March. <laughs> <laughs> Problem with me being vast of us is that I got no stories to come here and tell you about Uncle Blank. But from the ribs where my mother sat, I've been blessed with a glib mouth uncle we all call Uncle Brother. See, Uncle Brother bought my shoes. Kept up my society duties, paid my father, and did little daddy duties that my grandmother imposed upon him. So she said, he ain't gonna be running around faster in Louisiana looking like no pokey. I said, huh? That's Creole meaning who he for. I hold the cut and tears. Then I feel kind of sad because I don't know my dad. But 
as late Saturday evening. Cause I had me Janice playing. And my old uncle brother is paying. So I shot cut through a pasture, past a cow and a junk plow. Then I stumbled by a runny road before I arrived at his abode. Your uncle brother's on the road, Shaft, said my always nice, polite Aunt Betsy, meaning the Blacktop River Road at the head of the college land, where there is two general stores, the Riverside in Barney, plus the St. Joe Dance Hall. I mean, downtown, y'all. And on Ocean Shell Parking, facing these dwellings, is where my uncle brother did storytelling. That's your uncle brother over there lying. <laughs> lying. He called his African freestyle poetry. Well, I figure if uncle brother can get all these folks here in their little bathroom to stand on them horses shell and listen to him swing lies. <laughs> Maybe I can catch me a ride on the battery and find me some venues to lie my way across America. <laughs> but right now, I gotta catch these bells. <laughs> Those are the five days of plantation bells calling black folks to work the sugar. They got the old Cali plantation, they got the road in Bastion. Next to that is the St. Jan's plantation. Then behind the White Pack store is the Laurel plantation. That's the one calling my name. I got to walk a dark mile before I get there. <laughs> Right. 